Most SAS users, even experienced ones, do not use macros very often. A SAS macro is a block of SAS code that performs a specific function. The code is first defined and later called when needed. Many users write macros. The Methodology Center provides macros to allow users to perform specific actions. The good news is, using macros is not difficult, no matter how much experience you have with SAS. The macro featured in this video, LCA Distal, allows PROC LCA users to predict a distal outcome. However, the steps in this video are generally applicable to any SAS macro. Methodology Center SAS macros can be run in just four basic steps. 1. Download the macro into the desired directory. 2. Direct SAS to the proper dataset. 3. Use a percent include statement to identify the macro. 4. Enter the syntax and call the macro. Step 1. Download the macro into the desired directory. Go to the free software page at methodology.psu.edu. Then, click on the link for whichever macro you wish to download. You will need the macro file, and we suggest you download the user's guide and any example datasets as well. If you have not already done so, you will be prompted to register with the Methodology Center website. Then, save the downloaded files into the folder where you will direct SAS to look for them later. Step 2. Direct SAS to the proper dataset. This can be done with a libname statement or by using a newly created temporary dataset. Type the command libname, then assign a name, in this case SASF. Then, identify the path for the desired directory in quotation marks. End the statement with a semicolon. Step 3. Include the macro. Macros must be included so that SAS knows where to look for the code when the macro is called. Start with the percent sign and type the word include. Then, in quotation marks, enter the path and macro name, including the .sas file extension. End the line of code with a semicolon. When you run the include statement, the log will reflect the inclusion. Step 4. Enter the syntax and call the macro. Macro syntax is different than procedure syntax, so this part of the process requires the most attention. For Methodology Center macros, specific syntax is listed in the relevant user's guides. The macro that I am calling in this example, the LCA distal macro, requires that PROC LCA be run before the macro. Different macros have different requirements. For all macros, the syntax begins with a percent sign and the macro name. Then, type in open parentheses. All arguments for the macro will be listed before you close the parentheses. Type the arguments, including the input dataset identified by libname. If you are using an output from a SAS procedure, the output will be listed as an argument. Each argument is followed by a comma, not a semicolon. Note that no comma is needed after the final argument. Once your arguments are listed, Type a closed parenthesis and end the syntax for the entire macro with a semicolon. No run statement is needed. Then, you simply highlight your macro code, click the Run button, and SAS will process your data. Thank you for watching and good luck! If you have any questions about this video or any Methodology Center macros, please email mchelpdesk at psu.edu.